Hello viewers, welcome once again. Today we'll be learning how we can introduce ourselves using PowerPoint animation just like this. And for the cameo, I am adding a Facebook avatar to it. So without wasting any time, let's jump into the tutorial. I have opened a new PowerPoint slide and at first we'll change the background color of it. So we'll right click on the slide and select the format background option. It will open a tab in the right side where I can customize the background. So from the color drop down, I will select the eyedropper tool and here I have already taken two sample of color. So I'll select that and my color has been updated. Now I will insert a circle. For that I'll go to the insert tab and from the shape panels, I'll select the circle. And if you press Ctrl and Shift key all together, then click and drag, the circle will be well proportioned. So this is fine for me. I'll right click on the shape and change its fill color from here. So I'm selecting eyedropper tool to just copy this color. Okay, and also right click on it and change the outline to no outline. Okay, cool. You can align it. You can click the align option and click align center and align middle. Okay, now we want to animate the shape, for that we'll click the shape again and go to the animation tab and click add animation. From here we will not select any options, we'll go to the more exit effects. Here we'll choose basic zoom and click ok. And if I want to see the animation timeline, I'll close, I'll close this format background and I'll click animation page. And here is my animation. I have to do some customization from here also. So I'll right click on my animation and select start with previous. And let's see what happened. Okay, fine. Now we will add another circle. For that we'll go again to the insert tab and from the shape panel select the circle shape. Now this circle would be bigger than previous one. Actually it will cover the whole slide. Then I can right click on the shape and change it fill color from here and selecting this yellow color and of course we'll change the outline to no outline okay now let's add animation to this shape so click the shape go to the animation tab and select add animation and from here we'll again go to the more entrance effect and from here we'll select basic zoom again and click OK button. Now I'm going to add some delay to this animation. For that, in the upper portion, I'll click, I'll set this delay to 0.5 second. Now let's zoom out a little bit. Now let's insert a text. For that, go to the insert tab and select word art. So try to type the text in one line and then we can adjust the text box. Okay, I'm done with my text. Now I'm pressing Ctrl A to select the whole text and then go to the home tab to format the text. At first, remove the shadow and increase this size a little bit. Okay, change the font of it. I'm choosing Burling Sans font. And now I will resize the text box. So from the right corner, I will drag it To set this text within two lines. Now go to the format option and from here align option you will click align center and align middle. Okay. Oh I forgot to change the text color. I will select the text again go to the home tab and from here I'll change the text same as slide background. To animate the text in proper way we have to add three animation to the text. The first one is appear animation. For that, we'll go to the animation tab and click add animation and select the appear animation from here. Now you want the text to appear after this big circle animation ends. So we will add some delay to that. You can also play with the timeline and drag it from here and there. So I'm doing it manually. I'm just placing it where the bigger circle animation ends. And of course, by right clicking it, I'm changing this start with previous. Okay. 
okay i have to adjust again okay fine now let's add the second animation to the text for that i'll select the text and select add animation and select grow and shrink animation as the size is increasing i want to decrease the size so i will right click on the animation and select the effect option from here i will change the percentage 150 to 90 percent so from the timing option i can change it from on click to with previous and for the time duration i can select three seconds and press the enter okay okay fine so now adjust the timeline when the text appears now after the text appears we want the text to disappear also for that we'll again add an animation and select disappear animation now right click on the animation and change it to start with previous and i want this animation this disappear animation at the end of the previous animation okay now you remember the big circle we have applied basic zoom entrance now we have to add another animation to go we'll click the big circle and click the add animation and from here from the more exit effects we'll click basic zoom so i'll click ok and from the animation pane i'll right click on the effect and select the start with previous and then click outside and click play all button to see your animations all right it looks cool so now let's open another slide right click on the left side and select open new slide here again we'll change the background color for that we'll right click on the slide and select the format background option and from here we'll change the background as previous one okay now let's close the format background window now let's insert a shape so i'm going to the shape panel and insert a rectangle it would be a slim rectangle and right click on it to change its fill color to a white fill color and the outline set it to no outline okay now i'm to add a text for that i'll go to the insert tab and again select the word art and write my name here and take another text and write my designation and, and now move the text below the previous one okay. now select the first text select press ctrl a and go to the home page to format the text I'm again selecting this Berlin Sans font and I'll be changing the color to white. And now select the second text and press Ctrl A to format the text. Change the font, decrease its size and change the color changing the color to the light yellow okay okay fine to animate this text the first one i would add a rectangle in the left side of this triangle why i'm using that you'll understand it later so i'll right click on it and press send to back and change the color to slight background and of course change the outline to no outline now select the text and right click on it and send it to back also and now go to the animation tab and select add animation from here choose the fly in effect and as we want the text to fly from the left we'll go to the effect option and select from left okay see the effect for the rectangle that i have placed the text feels like that it is coming from this line okay and for the second text we'll again add animation for that we'll go to the animation tab and for the second tab we'll add an animation it's called appear animation and i want to customize that as well so select the both animations and right click on it and select start with previous and for the second one right click on it and select the effect option here you can see there is an option called all at once if you select it by letter and 
select the interval of the letters to 0 0.05 seconds and select the OK button. You can see there is a typing effect on the text. So, and finally, I want to add some effect that I have shown you in my previous video. I will open the file of that. So I will copy the effects from here. You will find the video link in the description. So I am copying the effects. And place it here. Okay, obviously I have to change the color of the shapes. For that I will click outside and then click the circle shape. And then right click on it and change the fill color. So you might have been seen in latest Facebook update, everyone has a Facebook avatar. So I have downloaded the Facebook avatar. So I would add this to my this slide also. So I'm going to insert tab and going to the picture option. And from this device, I'm choosing this avatar. Let's decrease its size and root and flip it, flip horizontal. Okay, now place it at the right of your slide and also add some animation to that add animation fly in animation i want this fly in from the right side okay now right click on that and select with previous and drag it to the right below of the first two text animation okay now let's play this cool now if I want to see the slideshow, I'll go to the first slide and select the slideshow option. It looks great. So to export this file as a video file, go to the file option and click the export button. And the second option is create the video and then press the create video button. It will ask for the location where we will save it. After selecting the location, just hit the save button. So that's all for today. Thank you for tuning in. If you like this video, please consider subscribing. And if you want to know more, please comment below. So see you tomorrow. Goodbye.